Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Look who I have with me. Hi. I'm so excited to have Farhana Oberson. Thank you for having me on your channel. I am a fan. And then I realized, so you grew up in coast. Yes. I, I grew and I grew up in coast. I found that so when I first met her, I was like, you grew up in coast? Yeah. We were so relatable and so many things. And then yeah. the other thing, I don't know if we talked about it, Malaysia. Malaysia too, yes. So we both went to uni in Malaysia. That's so so I was like, what? Yeah, I'm like, wait, did. she's like my soul sister. Okay, so question number one. If a movie was made about your life, who would who would act as you and why? <laughs> I know, I just had to Guys, start I'm with I'm not the... prepared for these <laughs> I questions, know. okay? I know, I'm, like when you upload this video, I'm gonna be like, I should have said this. I know, I, I know. <laughs> okay, so who would play my, um... I'm sure you've watched Mamma Mia. Mm-hmm. I feel like uh, Meryl Streep would Oh wow! But she's—I mean, she's elder. Yeah. But like you know, if it would be about my life, it yeah. would be like when I'm elder, and then me telling my story. Okay. Yeah. And it needs to be a really strong performer. I love Meryl Streep. She's awesome. She's iconic. <laughs> That's a really good answer. Yeah. What's the most exciting thing about creating content for your channel? Oh, um, I think just like connecting with people and pe like being relatable to other people. Yeah. Um, I just, I love telling stories as well. A lot of my videos are about, you know, telling stories of places and mm -hmm. food and featuring a lot of people. Yeah. And um, I love that. And I create a lot about travel as well. So mm -hmm. showing uh, Kenya in a different light, you know, because yeah. in the media, a lot of in, in, in Europe, I spe when I was in Malaysia, People used to be like, oh, you're from Kenya? You don't look Kenyan. Yeah. And I'm like, just because I'm not darker skin does not mean, mean I'm not from Kenya. You know, people don't know, like, in yeah. Kenya we have so many different cultures and right. religions and shades and everything. And we're all, you know, united and all mm -hmm. that. So I, I love creating content to show that. I love that. Number three is out of the new, outside of the numerous locations in Kenya, which okay. is the best place that you've been to. What was your favorite travel destination? I, I loved Italy. Okay, so mm. I've been in Italy, uh, I think four times. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I love the place. Yeah. It's so, people are so friendly. Yeah. They're so friendly. Yeah. The food is amazing. I can imagine. It's so good. And just the atmosphere, like um, a lot of places in Europe, they have, you, mm -hmm. you feel a little bit like discriminated mm -hmm. or like, you know, but in Italy, they're so welcoming. Okay. And, oh, I love the place. There's one where you had dinner with a family. Uh, that's in Italy. That's in Italy. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was and nice. So, I saw that. Yeah. And then we also, we were at this, um, the Duomo, the famous Duomo in yeah. Italy. And we, we wanted to go on a rickshaw because I didn't have enough content. So mm -hmm. I was like, mom, we need to do something. So we went on this rickshaw and there was this Italian man and he's like, oh, where are you guys from? <laughs> And we're like, we're from Kenya, and he's like, Mambo Vip. And I was like, what? <laughs> had he been before? He or had so? been to uh, yeah. Zanzibar before. Oh, he, okay. But he had been like once, so many years ago. And the it? fact that he still remembered, yeah. and we felt so connected oh, that's to him. So good. It was so cool. I read somewhere that your name, Farhana, means happiness. I don't yeah. know if that's right. Yeah. So, what's your definition of true happiness? Um, I, I feel. Hmm. This I like this question because mm -hmm. I've uh, struggled, not struggled, I talk a lot about happiness mm -hmm. and stuff on my YouTube channel and my Instagram. Yeah. And um, I am a obsessive of going through Pinterest on oh. like quotes and stuff, oh, all nice. about happiness and motivation and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So for me, happiness is being comfortable and true to yourself. You know, when you're comfortable with how you look, how you are, mm -hmm. with how your hair is, your color and everything, mm -hmm. then only you'll be truly happy. That is so profound for someone who's not like in their 40s. <laughs> you're very wise for your age. Oh, like when did no. you when did you become comfortable in your skin? Because a lot of people in their 20s are still trying to, even 30s, I mean, I mean trying to figure it out. I'm, for you. I'm still, I'm, I'm not going to say I'm entirely, obviously, mm -hmm. like, especially being in the social media world with the amount of stuff mm -hmm. you see on social media, you're like, why don't I look like that? That's or, true. You know, all that kind of thing. Yeah. But then, 
um, I get I receive so much love from my Rafikis. Yeah. And I, I I gain confidence from that as well. Yeah. And I don't know. I just feel like you know those who love me for who I am will stay, yeah. and those who don't will go. And that's it. I feel like that answer would be exactly how I would answer. It's the people who are part of your community and fan base Definitely. take you for who you are, yeah. and that makes a huge difference. Okay. Tell me something you've never told anyone else. <laughs> I want a sequin. I want tea. Juicy. I want tea. Yeah. Um. Sips tea. <laughs> <laughs> she caught me here. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, not that I don't tell anyone else, but mm. like my social media people may not know. Yeah. It's like, you know, as Muslims, um, they expect you're not dating or you know, uh -huh. you're not, you know but um, they're I am open to that <laughs> thing <laughs> that thing called dating yeah like it's, it's not like just because you're a Muslim uh -huh. we're we're not like in conversation with mm -hmm. the opposite sex okay or, yeah like but that's good to clarify because it's true that's the assumption yeah. is that you know you, you you can't really do that until a time when you're settling down completely. exactly i mean you need to, in this mm. day and era um, it's impossible to have those arranged marriages now mm -hmm. you know now people you get to know your mm -hmm. second half or you know yeah. what i mean yeah okay and, do, yeah. do you know when you want to start a family i yeah when i become a millionaire okay <laughs> Well, she's no, on the road. <laughs> no, I mean, um, when, when the right person comes, okay. then it'll just happen. In fact, you just talked about your um, religion. So, have you ever faced discrimination being a young woman from your cultural background? And what would you tell women out there who've been through the same? Discrimination, you mean yeah. here or just in general? I think anywhere in general. Um, yes, I have uh, several times. Mm -hmm. um, in Malaysia, it did happen. Um, even though Malaysia is 60% Muslim mm. and people think you know as a Muslim if you go there then life is perfect mm -hmm. but it actually really isn't for me when I was applying for my internship it was mm -hmm. so hard because they'll see you and then in your hijab and it's just, they already judge you really? so quickly and um, it's pretty sad but uh, you know I there's this girl called fly with Haifa mm -hmm. and her mission she 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 wears such colorful clothes mm. and everything and she's always smiling and she says if somebody even looks at her and wants to judge her it's, just, it's so impossible to because she's so bright and colorful and they'll just smile back oh wow i call her hijabi fight because that's her instagram she's uh, a friend Ibtisam? of empty oh yeah, yeah I love her. yeah she's amazing because i worked with her because of uni okay. so that's how i met her and then i saw you guys in a video together and i'm like yeah i mean I just love how you demystify it mm. and you're colorful and bright so oh, that's really thank cool you. so this might be a tough question okay. if you could you could only have one meal for the rest of your life what would it be oh no it's not tricky <laughs> i know it. oh do you yeah. okay biryani oh yeah hands down <laughs> yeah but not any biryani the costarian homemade biryani yeah she's yeah. making me hungry i love it you yeah. know what, when, when you come to coast, yeah. I will invite you to my home for my mom to make free biryani. I'm so gonna take you up on that offer. Your so mom makes a mean biryani. She eh? does. Um, we're almost done. If you could get rid of any law in Kenya, which one would it be and why? <laughs> hmm, there is one. Drone law? Apparently in Kenya. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. to, to have a drone in Kenya, apparently you have to have a license. Um, but yeah, that is one of the law mm -hmm. that I would uh, withdraw because, I mean, as creatives, I want to own a drone as well. I want to show Kenya mm -hmm. in a beautiful light and all that stuff. And I need one for my for my videos. So yeah. if that law could um, <clears throat> go away. <laughs> if you could please revise the law yeah. if you're watching. <laughs> or at least be like, oh, if you're creative, yeah. blah, 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 send us your channels and we'll yeah. approve for you to have one. Then, I know. Actually, yeah. that's true because it can't, you know, not everyone can pay a premium for advertising, exactly. but you have content creators who can do a great job. Exactly. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> That's it for Hannah. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Oh, that was so good. <laughs> I was prepared for some tough questions, but that was really nice. Yeah, I, I yeah. should have prepared tougher questions for her. Maybe <laughs> no, I'll like call that. her back and do that <laughs> at some point. But oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, this is amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. No, they will. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up, share it, and thank you so much for watching. And I'll guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.